Hey everybody, welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. My name's Kathy Fillion and thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we have got organization on our brains and on our work tables right now. Today I'm gonna show you a really simple technique on how you can cover a plain hat box with fabric. Now these hat boxes usually come in like sets of three and you could do the same technique using paper, but there's so many cool fabrics out there. So I really wanted to show you how to use fabric and fabric Mod Podge to decorate hat boxes. So I've got a stack here that you can see. And on these, I use some flannels and some decorator fabric. I've got a stack over here. I just fell in love with this plant fabric. And um, I'm gonna show you a really quick, easy technique to do these. So to get started, let's talk about the fabrics. Um, this is what the stack I'm making today. I've got the plant fabric. This is decorator weight, so it's a little bit thicker cotton. And then for my middle one, I'm using this green kind of plant fabric. And then I've got this yellow on the very top. And there's a couple different ways that you can finish these out, and I'll be showing you that at the end of the video. So to get started, um, you wanna just pick up any of these hat boxes. These are plain paper mache ones. You can use printed paper mache ones because you're just gonna be going over it. If you've got something that's a bold, dark print and you're using a lighter colored fabric, you might wanna give it a coat of folk art chalk just to turn it white before you get started. Okay, we're gonna use the Mod Podge fabric formula today. This adheres fabric to fabric, but also fabric to other surfaces. So we're going to go ahead, I wanna talk about the, um, how I cut the fabric. I just cut it into a long strip. And to measure that, you're gonna want a little bit on the top here where we're gonna trim that away. And then you want a good maybe two inches that's gonna get folded over onto the back side. And we're gonna finish that back side off with a piece of felt. So you don't have to be exact with that measurement. One thing I should note is this project works best with uh, prints that are all over and not necessarily stripes. Stripes get a little bit tricky to line up. So if you're not real um, careful, you may get like your stripes going off to the edge. So just look for all over prints. Now to get started, we're going to just take our formula and this is the fabric formula. Like I said, these boxes usually have a seam. So there's the seam and I'm gonna start on the exact opposite side of that seam. So that seam will end up being the back side. And I'm doing that because sometimes that seam has a little extra, um, I don't know, thickness there. So you wouldn't want that to be the front of your box. Now this is a round box. You can do the same technique on square boxes, oval boxes, big ones, little ones. The same technique works on those little jewelry boxes. Okay, we're just gonna apply our fabric Mod Podge right on there. And you're not gonna go all the way around, I'd say just about like a third of the way, just like so. Then I like to take, let's see, about in the center there, we're gonna place that down, just like so, and sort of, let me spin this so you can see that better. Just sort of roll that back and roll that up just like that. And I should mention that my fabric is just a little bit longer than the length around my hat box. So now we'll just go in and you go right up to that fabric and just keep adding your fabric Mod Podge. Now on this one, we're going to trim the top off. So I'm not worried about the fabric going over onto the inside. I have found that um, it really works best just to trim that off. I'm gonna show you that in a second. So we'll just keep adding our Mod Podge around, just like so, making sure you get that top and bottom edge nicely. And then again, we'll just roll that fabric right on up. Like that. This is so quick to do. This is really cute for nurseries, um, even dorms. These are great, like I call them stash boxes. I've got one that's filled with all my chargers and things like that. So these are great for sewing supplies, art supplies, you name it. Kids' little toys, action figures. Okay, keep going around. Let's see. Now we'll just layer that down. And I'm gonna trim off a little bit here. 
like so. And let's fold that down. Go ahead. You can just really get in there. Just go right up to where it, where it rolled up. There we go. Add a little bit more fabric Mod Podge. I did not pre-wash this fabric. You can uh, pre-wash it if you want. It's not necessary. And I find sometimes it gets really wrinkly and it's harder. So I just give it a little quick iron. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of our fabric Mod Podge to that flap. I'm telling you guys, this is one of the easiest decorator projects. It's so great if you're cleaning out your junk drawers and stuff like that. You can make a stack of these. Really so cute. There we go. So we've got it all the way around, just like so. Now we're gonna turn it upside down and I'm gonna show you how you finish off the bottom and then I'll show you how you finish off the top. So for the bottom, what we want to do is go ahead and we're gonna glue our fabric along the bottom and I'm gonna show you how to add a little felt circle there to the, the bottom too. And to do that, you wanna cut down about every inch. It's not really exact measurement, but just go ahead and slice down. By doing this, you're releasing a little bit of that fabric and you're gonna be able to make a really nice, smooth bottom edge. If you were to just try to fold it over, it would get really thick and kinky there. This way you'll be able to fold it over and it will overlap a tiny bit, but it will make a nice, smooth surface at the bottom. This is where our flap is. Go ahead and cut all the way down and around. And our last one, there we go. Kind of looks like a Muppet. <laughs> okay, so now for this, we just wanna glue these down. So we're gonna go ahead and add our fabric Mod Podge right up to that edge, just like so and then you'll just start flapping over and just like that. Get those glued down and look at how nice and smooth that edge is. All right, you get a really pretty edge. It's important because these are really, you can load this up and be as messy as you want on the inside, <laughs> but it's nice to have it looking pretty on the outside. Go ahead and fold those over. And this is where our flap is, so for that one, you do have to go in and add a little bit more right here. And it looks kind of milky and white, but it does dry clear. Flap those over. You can make these and you could make a set of three in under an hour. It honestly takes longer to pick out your fabric. You don't need very much at all. Most of these boxes you can do for under a third of a yard. So even if you found something that was a little bit in the splurge world for your budget, you're really not purchasing very much of it at all. There we go. And we'll just finish this off. And look how quick. Last couple ones over. There we go. Just like that. So simple. Now you could leave it this way if you wanted to, but I like to finish them off just with a little felt circle. And for the felt circle, what I do is um, go ahead and just take my shape here. And then I like to just, you could trace it off if you want to, but I basically just kind of eyeball it. You're gonna start with a square, then you're gonna fold that square kind of like the way you would do a snowflake. Just fold it into quarters and then go in and cut a round shape. If you need to, you can go in and sort of smooth it out. Let's see, we might need to make that a little bit smaller. Yep, a little bit smaller, okay. So we go in, let's cut it just a tiny bit smaller. And there we go. I'm gonna smooth that out a little, make it a little bit prettier shape. Not that anybody's gonna see it. <laughs> it's on the bottom, right? But you'll know. So then you just go in with a little bit of hot glue and we're gonna add, you just kind of start on the tops there and place that down just like so. 
And then you'll just go in and quickly add a little bit around. Just like that. Maybe a little bit in the middle. And hold that down. There you go. So now you got a finished out bottom. Now for the top edge there, you just go in, and I like to do this um, when it's dry, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you while it's wet because you don't wanna sit around and wait an hour for this to dry. So you just go in and kind of take your scissors right along that edge, and you're gonna just use that paper mache box kind of as your guide, and I'm sort of spinning it as I cut. And remember, this does have a lid, so if you accidentally cut a little bit down, the lid will cover that up, so you don't have to be too worried. But I like to just go in, cut around, and there we go, finished up. Oop, one little spot here. Let's grab that spot really quick. There we go. So that's how quickly you can cover the outside. Now let's talk about how you can finish these off. So for this design, I kept my lids the natural color because I thought that looked so cool with this sort of um, plant motif that I was going for on this stack here. You could also paint your lids. So for this fun stack, this sort of um, blue and orange stack that I did, I just used folk art paint to paint the tops of the lids. And you can see how cute that looks. And I just pulled that orange color from the fabric there. So if I wanted to paint the lids of these ones, what I would do is take my folk art paints and just match them up to my fabric. So I've got the closest yellow I could find, the closest green, and then the closest of the navies. So you could paint if you wanted to, like on the green one, you could paint the lid navy and just have a sort of mix match look, or you could go in and just paint it navy and have it you know, be a complete match. But on this one, I wanted to keep them the natural color. I found this beautiful trim. So I decided, let's just go ahead and glue that trim right around here. So to do that, this trim is awesome because it doesn't fray. So if it frayed, normally I would go ahead and um, fold back a little bit of it. So let's go ahead and just place that trim right on there, just like so. And then we will go along. I don't know if my gun is heated up enough. Let's see. See how far we get. And just keep wrapping that around. And a little bit more. It just really finishes them off. You could use, again, this doesn't take very much. I think this was about a yard around the biggest one that I did. Um, so if you're doing something like this, maybe check your scrap bin first if you've got some old trims. Round. Now let's go ahead and trim off a little bit. There. Love this natural trim. Okay. up to there. And fold that back. Add a little bit of glue there. And press that down. There we go. So now we've got this adorable lid for our box. So cute. Now I'm gonna wait to put this lid on until that fabric is completely dry because I don't wanna push that fabric down. But can you imagine, look how cute this stack is. I love all those colors together. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this has inspired you to think about some organization makeovers that you can do. So if you've got some old hat boxes or even some of those really sturdy gift boxes that you may have received, you can totally make them over with just a little bit of fabric and of course your fabric Mod Podge. We'll be back here next Thursday on Facebook and on Saturdays at YouTube. Please use the hashtags Plaid Crafts and Mod Podge so that everybody back at Plaid can see what you're making. Have a great, happy day, and we will see you next week.